Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are covering or we are developing a report by using the SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous videos we finished with the full understanding that if the data is in header but not in item, if the data is in both, then how you can go for writing the logic. Now, our data is in this internal table LT output. You need to display this data in the form of ALD. It means we need to create field catalog first. Then we can bind that data with the field catalog. Previously, if you remember, whenever we are creating manual field catalog, we are writing so much logic. You are passing the data to work area from work area you are putting it to field catalog internal table suppose if you have so many columns you are writing this much logic now it is very very easy you all know you have a value operator which is a replacement of append now the main benefit now we we are sure at the initial level we know how many columns will be in the field catalog internal table you all know your data your output has six column so directly rather than taking the work area can we go for value operator as internal table yes we can go here when i took the work area at that time your data is coming to work area one by one we are processing the records one by one that's why we have put or we have used the value operator to pass the data to work area, then we append it. But in terms of field catalog, at the initial level, we, we know we have six columns. We want a field catalog internal table of six columns. So we will directly, directly put it to internal table using value operator. Now, firstly, I will declare the internal table, field catalog internal table. Data, LT underscore field cat type. I will put the table type. Many times people ask from where we can check the field catalog internal table type. Yes, table type. You can simply go for function module, reuse ALV, field catalog merge, I will display this function model. I will copy the table type from here itself. You can see this is the table type. So I will declare this. So our field catalog internal table is of type table type. It means it is a internal table. Very easy. We'll simply simply write now. LT underscore field cat is equal to value operator hash. I can go for hash blindly. I can go for hash because I did a explicit declaration for this internal table. Now we will go for various things. I will just go for this field table type. Table type is referring to this structure type. Structure type has again nested structure. It has again nested structure. Now I will go one by one. Suppose firstly, we need to go for column position. So how I will write? Call underscore pose is equal to one. Now I will go for second field name. Field name, what is your first field name? V B E L N. So we gave the column position, we gave the field name. Now we want to give label also, column label. You all know we have three labels short, medium, sorry, four short, medium, long, and heading. I will go for long, long. So I will use this cell text underscore L. Suppose I will write sales document number. We should never hard code. I will use the text symbol. I will replace this with text symbol. Now, your first done. Let's see how easy it is. Now, our first is done. 
Now I will go for second. I will copy this paste. What is your column position now? Two. What is the core field name now? Post now. What is the selection text for that? Item number. I think many people knows now ALB topic very well. They know how to write the code. Now, what is our third column? Third column is our matena. Third column is our matena. Let's see, we are completely using the new syntaxes. This is your material number. Now I will go for next. Column position four. What is the field name? KWMENG. And that is all about your quantity. Now we will go for next. Because at the initial level we know how many rows in the internal table, field catalog internal table. So we are directly passing to internal table. This is your quantity. This is your unit. And here I will write VRKME. VRKME. Now I will go for sixth. Now what is your sixth column position six? And now we have the field name is your MAKTX. That is your material description. Now we should never, never use the hard coded text. We should use the text symbol. I will close this. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. That very easy way to create the field catalog. Now, can we go for these text symbols? I will write text hyphen zero zero zero, text hyphen zero zero one, text hyphen zero zero two. This is our text hyphen zero zero three. This is our text hyphen zero zero four. And this is our text hyphen zero zero five. I'll just cut this. We'll create now text symbols. Yes. Yes. Zero 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 is sales document number. We will activate. I'll go to back. 001 is your item number. Yes. Yes. Now 001 is our item number. Now 002. 002 is our material number. I'll just activate this part. Zero, zero, 003 is our quantity. Yes. Zero, zero, 003 is our quantity. Zero, zero, 004 is our unit.
Now we will go for 005. Material description. Yes. Yes. Material description. So we have done. So our field catalog is ready. It is very easy now. We simply use the value operator to create the field catalog. So your data is in this internal table. Your field catalog is in this internal table. You all know you have a function module. Reuse ALB grid display, reuse ALB list display. You can use those function module to bind the data with the field catalog. Suppose I will go for reuse ALB grid display. So I will pass now. I will uncomment exporting. What is my field catalog? Where is my field catalog? Field catalog. So I will simply write. What is your field catalog internal table? LT underscore field cat. And what is your data internal table? LT underscore out. Best practices always uncomment the exceptions. I'll check the syntax. And now I will activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we firstly studied how to create a field catalog. You all know field catalog is a internal table whenever. And you all know, yes, previously how you are creating the manual field catalog. One by one, you are passing it to work area. From work area, you are passing it to internal table. You have to write so many lines of logic. Now nothing. It's very, very easy. You all know you have a value operator, which is a replacement of your this append internal table operation. And at the initial level, we know that we have a field catalog internal table of six column. So we simply put the internal table value hash. I used hash because now we have a explicit data declaration for this internal table field catalog. So that's why systems will understand that your field catalog internal table is of what type. So we simply put column position, field name and selection text. For selection text, we use the text symbol. Then I use this function module. With the help of this function module, we binded the data with the field catalog. Or we can say with the help of this function module, we display the output in the form of ALB grid. In the next video, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be automatically removed. So that's it in this video. Thank you.